In the first video, I showed you how to use Automator to trigger the start of an iTunes playlist, and that is our tuning sequence playlist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule that app to launch at any time you want. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm using calendar here. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to create a new calendar, and that will let you keep um, your tuning events separate from your home and your work events. I'm going to call this calendar tuning time. Tuning times, and then I'm going to, all I have to do is create a new event. So I double click on a date, and I'm gonna say it's my concert orchestra that's coming in to tune. I put concert orchestra in there, and I'm gonna set this to launch at 401, because it's four o'clock right now, as you can see. There we go. Okay, or uh, 402 now. All right, 402, so in one minute, um, this will start. So here's what I have to do, as normally you can have an alert send you a pop-up 30 minutes before. We're gonna actually do a custom alert here, and this is where, this is where we're gonna have um, iCal do its magic. We're going to have it open a file, and that file is not gonna be a calendar, it's gonna be an other type of file, and you guessed it, it's going to be our little app that we made with Automator. I'm gonna have it launch that app, and I'm going to have it launch it, not 15 minutes before 4.02, but right at the time of the event, right at the time at 4.02, I hit OK, it saves it. So now I'm going to wait for the clock to change here, 4.02, and our tuning sequence will start. You're going to see how this all works. Make this a little smaller, make this a little bit bigger, and we'll wait for 4.02. There the it is. tuning sequence will commence in three minutes, three minutes. Okay, so you got to see exactly how that works. So um, if I close that, I stop the playlist. Um, all I have to do now is I've created it once. I can use my copy and paste commands. If I copy that event, click on it once, copy it, and I can paste it right in here on Wednesday. And, and any other day I want to use that, um, since my concert orchestra comes in. Then I can also use my duplicate, copy and duplicate. And then I can duplicate that event, change it so it's not my concert orchestra, this is my chamber orchestra. And they come in at four, um, say 4.03. And you're going to see now that at 4.03, the tuning sequence will start for the chamber orchestra. And you can set this up however you want. You can decide, um, well, maybe on Monday you don't have class, so you just delete those events. The tuning sequence will commence in three minutes. Three minutes. 4.03, and you can see my iTunes playlist is playing the way it's supposed to. There it is. So um, I'll hit stop, get out of there, and I hope this will help you um, automate your classroom and be a handy tool for you. So enjoy it. Please let me know if you have questions. We'll see you next time on orchestrateacher.net.